Okay, hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to take a quick second and uh, explain how to range estimate targets out of an unknown distance. So, uh, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, I suggest that you have a calculator with you and kind of go along with me. This will really help you uh, be able to hunt better, uh, be able to defend yourself better in medium to long range. And uh, it's just it's just something that you need to know. Uh, a lot of us own very expensive scopes and have no idea on how to use them. Uh, you see those mill dots in there, and you know some people use them for bullet drop compensation, and that's about where it ends. But uh, the more you know, you know knowledge is power. So we're we're going to use the uh, HUD DMR reticle. Uh, this is found in our ACSS system. Uh, specifically designed for DMR. Uh, it's got mills in it built in uh, basically from this chevron tip to the inner circle is one mill, two mills, three mills, four mills and so on. Um, so we have a target here at an un and it's at an un unknown distance. Um, it's very important that you know how big the target is that you're measuring. So if you're hunting deer, uh, rabbit, whatever you're after, it's good to know the dimensions. And you don't have to be right on. It just needs to be, you know, close enough to where you're not off by 10 inches or so. Uh, so we're, we're, this is about the size of a torso. This uh, reticle is, is a battle reticle. And uh, 18 inches is the center mass. So we'll use that as an example so we can confirm against the reticle as well. Okay, so let's get started. Um, all you simply do is take the target in inches. So center mass on the average uh, torso is about 18 inches. So you take 18 and you multiply it by this number, 27.78. And some people can go 27.778 and you, know, you can break it down even further. But 27.78 is just a simple way to, to remember it. Uh, so 18 times 27.78 equals roughly 500. So what that means is this 18 inch target converted by this uh, conversion number equals 500. Now your target could be 20 inches, 30 inches, whatever. In this example we're just using 18. Uh, so 500 is what we end up with. Now all you do is take your target and measure it against the mills here. And as you can see, it measures exactly one mil. So it's one mil apart. So we take that conversion number that we got by multiplying 18 by 27.78, and we divide it by how many mils are actually uh, covering the target, which we got one. So 500 divided by one equals 500. So this target would be 500 yards away. And... Uh, Obviously, as things get closer, they get bigger. And if this target was two mils away, you would divide by 250. So 18 times 27.78 equals 500 divided by 2 you would end up with 250. So this target would be 250 yards away and so on. So I hope that makes sense and um, I hope I did a decent job explaining it to you guys uh, and we can confirm it really quick up against the ACSS. The ACSS is designed to, without having to do any of this math over here, just simply take a torso and fit it on the proper slot. Uh, the ranging is correlated with the bullet drop comp. So uh, at 200 yards, a guy is from here to here, 300 from that point to that point, 400 is the crosshair, uh, meaning the, the width of the crosshair. So all you do is, is take the target and fit it in the right crosshair. As you can tell, it fits the 500 yard mark, the 600 yards is too small, and so are the rest. So I know instantly that this uh, torso size target is at 500 yards away, and I don't have to sit here and do any of this math. I don't even have to sit here and, and dial the turrets. I just simply shoot, and the bullet will go. The bullet drop is uh, lined up to it, and it will hit right where I'm, I'm ranging. So 
I hope this stuff makes sense, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave it on the comments. I'll try to help you the best I can. Thanks for tuning in, you guys, and look for more stuff to come.